All right, well, as soon as I open the garage door and go to come outside and start working on my cars, it starts raining. So needless to say, I am not working on my cars today. Kind of sucks. But at the same time, it's hot as I don't know what today. It is 97 degrees out. But I was gonna put the intake manifold on that. And then I was also gonna work on, well, both of these. Because intake manifold there, new bolts right here, ready to roll. Then I got something for that. So I guess we'll just have to pick this up tomorrow because So I guess we'll pick this up tomorrow. I'm gonna to do some just cleaning and rearranging in the garage. Nothing that, you know, I wanna film. Just got a couple things, just wanna kinda of clean and organize. Got some crap out there. So I guess we'll pick it up tomorrow where it's gonna be hopefully slightly better where we can work on both of these. So I guess I'll catch you tomorrow after work. Okay, it's the next day and it started to rain again. So, and it's supposed to start raining again. So I'm gonna try to knock at least one half of the video out or probably the whole thing. I don't know. It just all depends. So we're gonna go ahead and install the steering wheel in the Honda. So of course, you know, MPI, you know, Adam LZ steering wheel that I got from him. So adapter wiring oh yeah and then more bolts that's all in there oh yeah those are the abs things we'll figure or i mean the airbag thing we ain't worried about that so we need to go out and first unplug the battery because when you pop an airbag off the car all that kind of stuff unplug the battery and then basically start to pull the steering wheel off i have no idea how to do that so i'm gonna get that done real quick so i went ahead got the airbag off um two um torx bits on the side and then it pops off real simple real easy now you got this one right there that's for the horn which i will reuse and this is the airbag these are for the controls which none of that's going to get used so when i put the new steering wheel on basically i'm cutting all of this and just need the horn that's it so it's basically none of this stuff's ever going to be operable again it's pretty easy it's not a big deal i don't care about the controls because oh wow it came right off so basically i'm not stressed on the controls on this thing even if i ever have to put the stock steering wheel back on all right now let's see how oh she pops right off all right, now, hopefully it didn't move none. Keep it straight. All right, now I need to go grab the mounting plate for this. Guess I should have grabbed all this stuff. It's all good. And this goes right on. And see, so you got the two holes right there that go into the little things that are on there already so basically it goes on just like this the cord comes right out through the bottom for the airbag sensor thing that we're not using I have a camera person today Come on. just like that of course it's starting to rain again now I'm hoping the new steering wheel on that is straight. If not, 
I always wait till the end to put the horn on. So just in case I need to take the bolt out and maybe shift it a tooth or two. But this has the two pieces that they kind of have to lock in. So it technically should line up as long as I don't move nothing. So technically this thing should be perfect. I gotta figure out how to. Man, I'm gonna have to take that back off. I'm gonna have to get this in. Well, that sucks. All right, give me a few minutes because I gotta take this off and that has to go in there. So I'm gonna take this thing back apart. Crap. Cut all the wires. So I just cut all the wires that went to the controls on both sides. And here's the horn right there. So that plugs into the back of the horn button right there. When I do get the horn on which we're going to get that on later. Now, bad thing is, is these are the bolts that came with the steering wheel and they are too long. So luckily, the adapter came with bolts. Now, they're not the ones that I want to use because first of all, they're silver. And I really don't want to use silver bolts. I would prefer black ones just because they'll look better on the steering wheel um, but got to use what I got to use I guess so what I probably will wind up doing I know this is kind of like a conflict in the steering wheel world right here so I got an Adam LZ steering wheel and I'll probably wind up ordering from TJ Hunt and his Street Hunter stuff is he has the his titanium um steering wheel bolts they're like 35 dollars so i might wind up ordering me a set of those because you know they look cool and i think they would look all right but i still would prefer black because you know i think they would just look better Only thing, only thing, is this steering wheel is a lot farther in than the stock one. So, and man, it's hot outside. Of course, it just rains, so the humidity is like freaking ridiculous. Yeah, that is so far in. Still feels good though. He's pimping. Tighten these down. Whew. I'm sweating. I hate using these little Allen wrenches like this. I just don't feel like going in and getting my big stuff. Down my dang way. Be so hot. <laughs> Doesn't want to talk. No. Nope. You just did. You know I'm leaving that in there. All right, there you go. So, all good. I'm happy with it now. I just, I'm, like I said, I'm not putting the horn in right yet because just in case I didn't get the steering wheel, I'm shaking the camera all around. Just in case I didn't get the steering wheel tight, which I mean, I guess I could drive around the block, but I don't feel like it. I'm hot and I'm tired when I'm going. But all I gotta do is plug this into there and pop that in. Screw it. We'll do that anyways. Hopefully this fits. Whew. 
Come on, get in there. Voila. All done. Now that I'm like sweating to death over here. Well, I guess we're just going to end this video because, like I said, it's raining out and I really don't feel like working on Silverado in the rain and plus trying to seal that motor up and this and that. Or not the Silverado, the Blazer. Whatever, they all run together. So I guess we're just going to end this video here. I at least got steering wheel done. I'm happy with that. So I guess I'll catch you in the next one.